But how many of you at times feel that um, the system works against you or our patients? Okay, well, see, here's the point. We designed the system. So let's talk here about who designed the system. Who is Chancellor Ron talking about? Well, he's talking about people who make decisions about the way our healthcare system is designed. In large part, the healthcare system has been designed by successful health professionals, also known as stakeholders. Look at the makeup of these boards and other groups of deciders. They're mostly old, white, rich male professionals, with a few black people and women who act and think like old, white, rich male professionals. The most important thing about these people is not age, color, wealth, sex, or profession, though. That's just historical artifact. And history is important to remember and full of things that we don't want to do again. But focusing on age, color, wealth, sex, or profession misses the bigger point. It divides us and it protects the current system. The most important thing these people have in common is that they're doing well in the current system. If decision making is left up to people who feel like the system is working, nothing's going to change. This is the most important problem with our healthcare system. We need to change the way we make health system decisions. Look at who makes decisions in your organization. Are they made by successful people, by people doing well in the system, or by the people the organization is meant to serve and perhaps is not serving so well? Chances are, most deciders in your health-related organization are stakeholders. The word stakeholder is used a lot in healthcare. Anytime there's an issue, the first thing we do is have a meeting of stakeholders to decide what to do. Stakeholder is an old metaphor. When two people bet on a fight, a third person, the stakeholder, holds their money until the fight is over, then gives it to the winner. But that makes a stakeholder sound like a neutral third party. In health, Stakeholder doesn't refer to an objective third party. A stakeholder meeting is not a meeting of people who don't care how the meeting's going to turn out. In health systems, stakeholder is used to mean someone who claims ownership of some part of health or the health system, like people used to stake out land and claim it as their own. In other words, people at a stakeholder meeting are people who think they have something at stake, something to lose in the meeting. They are there to protect their stake in whatever health issue the meeting is about. They do that by making decisions. A major problem in healthcare is that a very small group of people make most of the decisions. The small group is mostly professionals and experts who are doing quite well in the current system. These stakeholders have money invested in health. Pretty big money. Government, insurers, providers, investors, medical students pay a lot of money to claim a right to make decisions about health. But it's about more than money. A lot of good stakeholders in the health system don't care too much for money. They really want to help people. And they've invested a lot of their goodness and effort in trying to help people by working in the health system. Importantly, they also have hinged their personal and social lives on their role in the health system. They define themselves by their expertise and their importance in the system. They often spend more waking hours with their co-workers in the health system than they do with their family and neighbors. So the people who show up at a health-related stakeholder meeting have money, careers, self-image, and friends tied up in the way the system has been working up to this point. By and large, they are people who are holding a stake down that keeps the system from moving. Not because stakeholders are evil, but because things look pretty good from their position. And it's not wrong to consult with stakeholders. But if most of the deciders in your organization are stakeholders, nothing's going to change. Democracy is not about diversity of age, color, wealth, sex, or profession. It's about diversity of perspectives on how the system is working. And democracy is not just for government. It makes all organizations and systems better. Ask your health-related organization if they have a board of patients or a board made up of community members. You know, a board of ordinary people. 